Hi, I'm Katie, and I'm in Susie's nail studio today. She is going to be teaching me an ombre hybrid gel technique because I have not been successful yet at it. I'm in the hot seat. Let's get started. This is unusual for me. <laughs> <laughs> For the video, that is. But yes. when I'm teaching, this is very normal. And that's why I set it up like this, so I can be over her shoulder while she's learning. We're very so, cozy. Yeah. We're very cozy. <laughs> You're going to do an ombre nail. Now, have you done one before, you said, but? I'm not successful at it. Okay. I'm not successful. What didn't you like about it? Uh, I just don't think I had the right technique, and I, I felt like I didn't have enough time to get everything Okay. And you ready. did it with the hyper gel? I think so, okay. yeah. So you know how to form. So we'll go, oh, actually, we're going to get you actually to put the, um, we've already buffed the nail. It's already prepared to go. Mm -hmm. So grab your bridge over there. My it's bridge. one of those little bottles. You read the back and this it'll one? tell you. This yeah. is the bridge. So this is an adhesion layer. We've already cleansed the nail. We've already dehydrated, dehydrated the nail. We've got rid of the dust. And we're going to paint a thin layer on. And when you paint this stuff on, your prepared nail, you're going to massage it in gently. Just don't touch the skin. So do it in little circles and sort of oh. massage it in. Okay. The idea of massaging it in is to make sure it gets into every little crack on that nail possible. And you want to make sure you get every little square inch of that nail, every little corner. And you look like you're doing just that. It's great. All right. Am I good then? Yeah, you are. Okay. And then you want to pop it into the machine for 30 seconds minimum, but 60. So you'll go to, oh, turn it on <laughs> and then hit 60. And then hit 60. Yeah. Okay. So we're going to let that cure for 60 seconds. Can I say it? Nuke it. Yeah. <laughs> Can I say it? <laughs> you can say it. <laughs> okay, so now you can bring it out and you're going to put your form on. And I'm going to put my form mm -hmm. on. I love these forms. Yeah, I do too. I like them and I designed them specifically for hydro hybrid gel. They have a thicker paper. They are So that thicker. when you push with that brush, they won't misshape. I like to try and put them... Well, I've watched your video on it is what I've tried to do is watch your videos wow. on them. Wow, okay. I don't know, is that... Is that on? I don't know. Is That's that straight? Very good. Try and line it up wow. with your knuckles. Is that is that it? Can is I just good? get a little closer? Yeah, pink? yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So I am going to show you one little trick you can do to professional it right up and make mm -hmm. it look. Remember, you grabbed my nail and you said, "Oh, your nails are so th slender." Yes, they are. It's a pinch technique. Okay? okay. And you can do that right here. Okay. I'm going to show you what you do is you grab the form like right in these two spots mm -hmm. right there, and you pinch, you squeeze it together. Oh, and you've rounded this part. Yes. Oh. Even though you did amazing with no counsel except the videos, which is no I, no I, teaching, but no, that's fantastic. I know, but I've never pinched it that much, so yeah. that's okay. I didn't okay. realize you could pinch it yeah. that much. Yeah, pinch it. that's okay. really good. Okay, awesome. so what that gives is it's more of a slender look. So now the product the product will fall on top of your form. Your form sets the standard of what your nail is going to look like. Okay. So if it's wider, the nail is going to be wide. But if you pinch that form, it's going to form the product mm -hmm. around it. The so more you're gonna, you know. Yeah. So let me just get a look and see if I didn't pinch too tight. No. Now, if you were going to go super long, to be totally picky here, I did pinch a little too tight on the one side just because of the angle that I'm yep. leaning in and I squish it too much. But we're not only going to go to about here. Right. So if we were going to go to here, I would redo the form. Right. But just if anybody caught that. Okay. So now we can start with product. I'm going to open up your pink and your white. That's what you need. It's a very soft white for the ombre look. And sometimes when you do, you're trying to decide what do you put on first? What would you put on the pink or the white first? When you're doing an ombre. Oh, I don't know, actually. What would I do first? White. I would do the white yeah, first. Because you want the white to be softened by the pink. By the pink. So whatever goes on last will be the dominant. Oh, maybe that's why I had... I had maybe. A, maybe that yeah. was what I was mm -hmm. doing wrong. Okay, so okay. we're going to grab this. Now, my brush here has a paddle on one end. Yes. All right. So you're going to grab that little paddle and you're going to grab as a little scoop. You can actually pick it up yeah, if you want because they're hard to. They yeah, are. Yeah. They are. Okay, you actually can get quite a bit more. A bit more? Yeah. Actually, double. Double? Yeah. Okay. You're way more than yeah. I would. Okay. Yeah. That's good okay, now know. you can put it down. Okay. Now get your little bead on the free edge of that finger. Yeah, right under the paper. You got it. Okay. okay. Oh, and I want this is my So, yeah, brush. now I don't know how picky you are, how much of the brush, but you can clean that end if you want to. But if you don't want to and you don't think you're going to touch it, then I wouldn't worry too much about okay. it. Because you don't want to get 
Okay, so here's your... Now, I have just want to mention, mm. we're doing your dominant hand. So you're doing this with your opposite hand, That's correct? correct. This is my left hand, and I am a right-handed person. You're okay with that? Yep. Okay, I'm really putting her on the hot spot here I, because it is the hot seat, she's but not I'm, using her dominant hand. Now I've got hand. stickers all over me. I'm going to take the stickers <laughs> off. <laughs> That's okay. On my yeah. head. No, don't do that. <laughs> okay, so just so you know, she is doing this with her opposite hand, not her non-dominant hand. Yes. Okay. That's correct. Okay. Um, just let me have this brush. Sorry, I should have said that. Is there mm. little blue papers over there? Yes. Just grab a couple and put them right here. Oh, perfect. I yeah. wondered what I was doing. There yeah. we go. Okay. So here's your brush again. Thank you. Now you want to dab that into your alcohol. And I 70% seems to be the magic number. Yeah, there, there you go. go. And you can just sort of dab it off onto here a little bit. Yeah. And now you want to press onto it. Right. And you want to... That's it. You started shaping that free edge. Now you're going for almond. Yes. Yep. That's what I typically do. Can you see yeah. this camera, man? So you can go sort of take the angle of the brush and just simply do this. Do that way. Yeah. Okay. And if it gets a little sticky, get a little more alcohol. Okay. There you go. That's great. Yeah, like a little. There yep. we go. I gotta, I gotta lean over you. That's okay. You're doing really good. That's fantastic. Let's see what I can get. Move whatever angle you need to do it. We'll adjust around. Cameraman keeps up pretty good. Okay. You may need more okay. alcohol. Yes, I do. Yeah, because yeah, you just dried out waiting. All right. I'm always nervous about this fulcrum point where it could actually break off. You know what I mean? Right. So you're talking about the apex and the stress yes. area. Yes. You're absolutely right. So when you lay down this first part, which is the free edge of the ombre, you don't have to worry about the apex on this layer. Oh, we will okay. worry, and the reason being is, we can take advantage of the pink to be the apex because we want it to be thicker anyway to cover the white line right. that we're slowly making here. Okay. Yes, yeah, so you can feather it off like that. That's great if you want to do that. Fantastic. Is that feeling pretty comfortable? Well, I got... It's not distributed evenly. That's fair. And you can also, if you don't have to be perfect, you can also cure it and put more on if you like. Totally your call. I do when I'm at home. Yeah. But then I also want to make sure I don't use all the product. I'm stingy. Maybe I'm stingy with yeah, my product. Yeah, that's fair. Know. Well, with the thing is with um, hybrid gel, you can put it back if you don't want to use it anymore, if you fight this too much, right? That's true. That looks pretty good. So you're already shaping it. Well, don't you say that... I think you're a perfectionist. If you, I, a little bit. I'm a Virgo. I'm a Virgo. Okay. I'm a perfectionist. I don't know much about that stuff. I'm a Gemini. Are they Are they perfectionists? Geminis? I don't know. They're sort of partiers, aren't they? They like to party? They like to party? This is a good channel. This is a very... <laughs> <laughs> All right. I don't know. How's that? Looks pretty good. Okay. Yeah. It looks pretty good. Okay, let me, can I just get a closer look? Yes. Okay. Oh, yeah. So what I'm looking at is the thickness on the end. There's no apex right there at all. Okay. But that's okay. We don't need it in the white. No. This is just aesthetics at this point. That's beautiful. Oh, thank okay. You. Yeah. I'm happy with that. Are you? I'm happy. Okay. Nuke it. Now we're nuking it. Yeah. Okay. And we're going to go in there for another 60 seconds, depending on what light you want to adjust it. Okay. So now... We're cured, so now we're gonna put the pink on. Now the pink is super important because when you're choosing a pink, now I've already done that for you in this yes. kit. I've picked an opaque-ish pink. Okay. I've selected a specific color pink to be able to be not translucent or just a little translucent enough to be really kind of natural-ish, but opaque enough to cover that whiteness. Right. Because some people will use an ombre, a really bright white, I don't like to do that because I want it to have more of a subtle, natural look. I find it's bright. It's just personal taste. And I wonder if that was the, the other issue then is that I was using a very opaque white. Right. I wasn't using a translucent white. Right. And maybe the difference is you were using a brighter white. Maybe. Mine is much more natural and softer for the ombre look. And that is a personal preference, professional we go. preference because that's All what right. I like. So we're going to take a big bead, but we're not going to focus on the cuticle. Oh, pardon me. We're not going to focus on the apex. We're going to focus on the cuticle. Okay. So just take a smaller bead than what you did. And okay. we're just going to put it in the cuticle area. The first thing I'm going to do is turn my dinner alarm off. Oh, I didn't hear it. 
No, I'm sure you didn't, but I did. <laughs> I heard a little something, but I thought maybe your tummy was growling. No, that was a little... It's a, we call it the angry dolphin. Okay. Yeah, I don't know why did it sounds like an that. angry okay. dolphin. Are we ready, cameraman? Yes. <laughs> so you can pick up the jug if you want. A okay. jar. Jar, sorry. The pot? Yeah, the pot. the pot. I don't know. Yeah, just get so, a little bit. Uh, is that that's, too much? No, that's probably good. That's good? Yeah. Okay, so put that right near the cuticle. Okay. Ish, like don't touch the cuticle. Oh, good. Yeah, that's nice. Right. Yeah. Sometimes how do you get it off No, that's, it doesn't matter if there's a little bit on your paddle. Don't okay. have to worry. Now get it wet. Get okay. your little alcohol going. And you want to pr gently press again and get the product as close to the cuticle as you can. Just move slower. Yeah. Like be really specific. You can see the edge of that hydrogel and where it's going. Be really conscious of how close you're putting it into the cuticle. Does that make sense? Yes. Can you see, cameraman? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. He's doing pretty good. Because normally I would be right on top of myself yes, right now. Yes, I understand that. So it's hard. And... A little bit more there. Okay, so one thing I'm really impressed with what you're doing already, because sometimes students will come to you with some skills, which you clearly have. You're not flooding the cuticle. No, I learned that the hard way. Okay. And what did you way. learn? What was your experience there? I would get so much... Well, it's almost as if the product around would be flaky or... After it dried and cured. And yeah. Then, okay, that's yeah. subsequent. Okay, time later. Okay, so the reason why I'm really huge on that, guys, is because if you're using a monomer with your hydrogel as the slip, you know, like I say, as the alcohol, if you're flooding that monomer, you don't want that on your skin all the time. That's really can pose a lot of problems as far as allergy goes. So you don't really want to do that. So use alcohol instead. You, know, you can still get a little bit of the product on you if you're over flooding with alcohol because the product will get in the alcohol and flood around on your skin too. But you're not doing that at all. Oh, good. So that's fabulous. Excellent. Now, okay. I don't really have an apex going. No, here. that's okay. We're not worried so. about the apex right now. We're just focusing on the cuticle. All right. So how do you like that for the cuticle goes? I think it's pretty good. I think it looks pretty good. I think it's pretty good. Okay, I would nuke it. Okay. Yeah. Here we go. Now we want an apex bead. We want an so, apex bead. Yeah, about okay. two or three times more than what you got. That's good. That's good? Yeah, that's good. Okay. Okay, and then you just want to put that. Yeah, you got it. Good girl. All right. Awesome. Okay. And then we're going to put some of that. Sure. There. No sense of wasting. Don't waste. <laughs> That's what I love about the pots. Yes, you can put it back. Yes, and apparently, oh as, as opposed to the squeeze tubes, because you can't get the last little bit. But there's a few nails left in there with the pots. You yes, can get every, every little, little bit. bit. I like that. Okay, so get your brush ready to go. Okay. And you want to just make sure that you don't have to, like, you're not doing this. I'm just, you know, if you guys are doing this, you don't have to go like that, Pat, so much. But I like what you're doing. You're you sort of press, push. pressing and you're being cognizant of every move you make. And I yes. find when we do that with our non-dominant, we often do that. We're very particular and we actually can do a better job sometimes because the other I one, so. we're just going like this. Well, and so. I find if you don't, if you're not slow, then your brush can get gummy. Yeah. So if you go yeah. slow and you're deliberate, yeah. the because the speed less. is also drying the air, drying the alcohol, and yes. it's not staying as wet. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, mm -hmm. The more you learn. Yeah. Right. Okay. So now this part is important because this is the aesthetic value now to your ombre. So the whole idea of an ombre is you're taking the pink and you're softening it over your white. Okay. So now you can regulate how much of an ombre do you want. Do you want it to be just the tips sort of peeking through or do you want more white peeking through? So it depends on how far you're bringing that pink down. Interesting. Yeah. Okay. So because it's not acrylic and drying on you as we speak, you can work with it because if you put it down there and you're like, it's, it's covering too much white, you can, you can pull, pull it, it back. back. Oh, yeah. interesting. So you create what you want now. You okay. develop your own style of what you like. Cuticle's beautiful. You just kind of smooth it near the cuticle and then bring it right to the side of each of those sides. Yeah, that's called the stress point. We want to make sure we cover that. That's great. Now, I don't know if you can see, but the ombre is starting to appear. Yeah. Do you see is. that? Yeah. I'm probably moving it too much for cameraman. No, no, no. Oh, let me check. How are you doing there, cameraman? Fine. Oh, good. Okay, good. Okay, good. Maybe you're going to take over my job. <laughs> Hardly. <laughs> Hardly. That's great. Oh, wow. That's really good. Now, everything we do from this point on, ever how lumpy and bumpy it is, we can always fix it in the filing. Right. But because it's 
a hybrid gel and it's not going to cure until you put it under the light, you can play with it and as really long as you it, like yeah. and get it to the point where there's very little filing to do. But it also can get to the point where you're like, I just got to call it. I just got to call it because yes. you can get a little crazy, right? Point of no return. Yeah. The point you of no it. return. All right. Wow. That's fantastic. Okay. What I really like what you're doing there, and I really want to point it out, it's really hard to see on camera right now, but I'm just going to show something. Oh, oh yeah. sorry, love. That's okay. <laughs> what she's doing is she's actually getting the brush and putting it on an angle. She's not just going flat as in like squishing the product toward the cuticle. She's actually getting between the product and the cuticle and flattening it on an angle, sort of like how you would file it. And mm -hmm. you see how smooth you're making it? Around the cuticle, you're making a natural cuticle without even having to file it. You're doing it with the brush. Fantastic. Oh, Good move. Thank you. Good move. I'm, I'm quite enjoying the compliments there. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, you've got to know what you're doing right when you do it, because if you don't know that, then you can't exaggerate or or grab onto that part. Right. And learn from that, right? You've got to know what you're doing good as much as you are doing the wrong. Yes. Oh, I like that. Yeah. There we go. All right, I'm getting in close here. So That's I'm great. Not. Now, I have learned with hybrid gel in particular, because I'm learning too. Hybrid gel is, it was introduced, you know, technically 20 some years ago, but it's really come to point now and really hit the market great. And we're all loving it. What I've learned with it is the more sometimes you fuss with it, the more it kind of gets you back and goes, mm, mm -mm, you had me. And now you're just messing. So at some point, you'll have to decide that on your own. Yeah. Okay, so the cuticle's great. I don't think I would mess with the cuticle anymore. No. But what I am seeing is maybe a little, yeah, and I can't yeah. decide because I'm not right over top of it. I can't really see. But I would push this back, back right now because I'm not really sure if we want it to be that pink toward the end. Right. Now, it can be high. We can file it off. But it can't be thick and then stoppish. Right. Because once we file it, it's going to be pink and then white. It has to feather right. off, right? Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to push him back. Now we can go this way. Yes. This is, you know, um, better. Uh, maybe I'll let you do it because of the angle. I think sure. it's better for you. So this is my left hand and it's tricky. Yes. And what you're also doing is pushing it into an apex. Yes. Right? To make my shape. Yeah. That's what I was trying to make Yeah, my you're shape. doing exactly that. And we want to add a little more. So don't get too close to the cuticles because you did the yeah. cuticles so beautifully. You see how little it is now? Yeah. See how you got a little bit? So just feather that little bit out if you like okay. and see if you like that look. I feel like I've got... And my bracelet keeps making noise. Yeah. Sorry, cameraman's going <laughs> to be upset with my bracelet. He's a sound guy. Well, we started off a video with the a neighbor moving some gravel and that was noisy, but they stopped just before we started shooting. So I think he can handle the bracelets is not near as bad as what it could have been. Well, that's a little better. Yep. Look at that. We got a little baby apex going. We need more because of the length. Right. But okay. let's check out the ombre. Let's just get a good look. Oh, okay. See, I'm really seeing it because right now I'm just seeing it on a side angle. That's looking really good. Are you liking the look of that? I do. I really okay. like it. And I like, I like the thinness of it now. Yeah. Nuke it. Um, yeah. Okay. Now nuke it. Yeah. Okay, so, so what I'm going to say at this point, we're almost done. Yep. You're almost done this nail. Sweet. And the reason being is the cuticle is phenomenal. Okay. The length is what you want, a little longer, but we can shorten that and all in the filing. Um, the only thing we need to do is make sure that the sides are reinforced, that we have a good apex, and catching both sides. So those are three things we need. Two things, catching both sides, sides. and catching the apex. So put that bead right there. Okay. Does it need to be larger? Is that good? No, no, That's I think good. we're going to play with that. Okay. So what I would do is get that bead full of alcohol, and okay. we're going to press that so that you get it all the way to the sides to reinforce your side. Okay. Yeah. And then we're just basically going to do the same thing over again, what you already did. We're just reinforcing it with an apex.
really good. Is it? Yep. Because I'm like, am I blending this funny? Yeah, no, no, you're doing good. So there is another design for a hybrid gel with the ombre that you can actually take the pink all the way to the very end if you like, and it really softens the white and gives a whole look. But you gotta do it thick enough so when you're shaping, yeah, because if you take all the pink away, then you won't have it anymore. But, but I like what you're doing there. Okay. Do I have enough at the edges? I was gonna get you to add a bead specifically. I can't see the other side so much, but I'm gonna get her to add a little bead on this side. And I'm talking a tiny little bead. But it could make the difference between breaking that because it's the longest finger. Right. And it's on your dominant hand, those two fingers that you're gonna blow most likely. So just a little, t oh yeah, yeah, that's good. Put a little pressure on and get some more on there. Yeah. Is it on there? Yeah. I think it's on there. I think it is. It's hard to see. Sometimes the lights can be so bright, it's actually hard to see. There well, we there go. There we go. There, there we go. go. So just press it. Even if it goes wider, that's okay. We can file that. Okay. You just want to make sure you have enough. There's nothing, well, I personally hate going back and adding. I'd rather put a little too much and file away. And file, yes. I agree. There you go. That looks good. Oh, yeah. Now you check the other side. I can't really see it. So you have a good boo there. Oh, what I like that other side. Think? It's I think okay. It looks good. Okay, look at you got that pretty good. Do I got it? Yeah, okay. you do got it. That's All right. very good. Okay, now let's just double check the apex and make sure. So we want to look at it sideways and we can see you've got a pretty good apex, but we are a little jumpy. We're like, yeah. we've got a pretty good, and then it kind of falls off. Now we can fix that in the filing. Okay. But let's take a look at the color. You could take a little bead, add it right here. Oopsie, I forgot that was wet. It's so wet. We could put a little bead right there and just follow it and feather it right off so we have a slight. Now we may file that off when we're finished, sure. but you could do that. Okay. So the white might be a bit thick. We might have to make it a little bit thinner, but we're going to just see what we can do. All right. And you just want to feather that extra little pink bead down and out. Look at that. You just made your first ombre. Woohoo! It's very pretty. It is. It's really pretty. You did a good job. Well, thank you. So all you want to do sort of is take a look at it and make sure that you don't have any white line where the white ended and make sure that the pink is brushed over top of it. That looks pretty good. I really like it. Yeah, yeah. some filing and Nuke it's it. really nice. Okay, now we're going to file it up. Okay, so now you're cured so you can pop that form off. Okay. Yeah. Oh yeah, you didn't actually, you didn't do something that you did. What did I do? <laughs> you did everything right, but no, you not on camera. No, it's funny. You didn't pierce this. No, I didn't. But it worked for you. Some fingers it won't work so good for it, but it worked for you. Oh. So if you pierce it, though, if you, pardon me, separate it, then it's easier to get off in the end. So oh. well, there is I an advantage. No. Now I you can't. got it. <laughs> so just take a little blue pad, soak it with alcohol, and wipe the sticky layer on top. Any gel item is going to have a sticky layer on top, unless it's a no-wipe top coat. There we go. Now we're going to file. Okay. We just kind of went through the filing because most of the video, I really wanted to focus on that ombre because the placement was so important. Okay, and now take this spongy one. The spongy one. Yeah, we just mm. want to prep it for your top coat. Oh, yeah, does it go. matter which side? No. Oh, you're right. That's a good question. Just go over top of the whole thing. Just. Yep, that's good. Yep. That okay, yep. And then we're going to do, you can take a little cotton pad if you like. Okay. Those are lint-free pads. A little bit of alcohol. Wipe it clean. Want to get rid of the dust. Gel. Any types of gel. When you're putting a top coat on, it doesn't like dust, right? So you no. just want to take that off. And then we're going to put a reveal top coat on. The reveal top yeah. coat on. Okay. Oh, and then, so grab your tube so you can put it, your hand on it. Mm -hmm. And grab the little reveal guy. I call it reveal because when you put it on, it reveals it the beautiful does nail. Reveal yeah. beautiful things. Oh, that's too much. Nice. Yeah, you're right. You don't go too close to the cuticle. You can just slide up into the cuticle to get it nice and tight. That looks great. That's really cool. Did I get it? Yeah, take a little bit off your brush, actually, and just see if you can get that one side a little bit. Well, a I'm tiny gonna, bit I'm gonna hang on. I'm gonna turf that right off the coaster. Oh, gotcha. And make a mess. Don't make a mess. Right here. Yeah. That that's it. That was you it. got it. Yep. Okay, now nuke it. Okay, 
Okay. Oh, one little touch. One little touch. One Ooh. little touch. And it smells nice too. We drop a little oil. You can massage that in there and you're ready to go. When you did your last one in comparison to this one, what is the difference for you? My, my last one. When you did an ombre that oh, you didn't like. The comparison was uh, you have a less opaque white. So yours is more translucent. Right, that's what we learned, yep. Which works better for the ombre, yep. which I really liked. Got you. Uh, and to put the pink on last. Yeah. The white goes first. Huge, huge deal. And you covered Very the big. apex. We got the apex yes. going, so you got some strength on that I nail. I did. Fantastic. I love it. Well, Katie and I did a video just before this where we prepared the nail. We were actually talking about greenies. We were talking about greenies. That's a big topic. So if you guys want to check that video out, it's very informative. Check it out.